it's me if you're new here i'm sue or auntie sue people have taken to calling me now uh which i don't mind at all makes it feel like family doesn't it um anyway i've got to show you these it's from the yard trail uh which i mentioned in the vlog i think is uploading at the moment and I've been waiting, I were exhausted when I got back. Uh, so we went to see family last night and then that was it. So beautiful sunny day, good excuse to get out into the car and get it all loaded in here. So I'll film it coming in, I'll show you what I've bought and I'll be trying to add up as I go uh, and give you an idea on what I've spent for it. And uh, yeah, we'll get cracking. <laughs> cameras then I was gonna well I don't know how much of that you'll have seen anyway but I've, I'm gonna have to chop it up because I, I set the camera up on the doorstep and every time I came in the camera was dropping a little bit like that so the end of it's not gonna work but you might have seen a bit of me bringing it in uh, I'll start well it'll be a bit random I can't remember in what order I bought everything so I'll just I'll just show you as I hit it um, you might be able to help me with this one. Her face rings a bell and I really can't think where she's from. Um, and I've got a feeling I ought to know. Well, she's supposed to make sounds, but uh, the lady doesn't know if she's working or not. So she just sold it me for 50p. Whereas this one, uh, this is from Woolly and Tig. Uh, and I've sold a few of this. Uh, before and um it's from woolly and tig and uh it does make sounds so this was a pound so 150 um right this one i brought a few prints or paintings um this one it was the family selling and uh Oh, I'm gonna have to walk them around because it's so just hold on a sec. It's a bit better. Right, I'm sat on the stairs. Right there, a little mouse with clocks on. Well I declare. Anyway, um where was I? Paintings. This is uh family painting and it's um probably a house that they lived in at some point. Uh and it's a proper um watercolor uh, it's absolutely beautiful colors in that uh, and it's like a, an old gesso uh, frame to be honest from looking at the damage on that um and they really wouldn't come down because it's an original one uh, so i paid five pound for that i just thought it was a lovely picture um yeah so that's that my brother had to carry this lot round for me um, right, I've got some more. I didn't, well, I wasn't sure on the fourth one. Um, somebody from Ireland might help me with these. Um, they are Dublin. Well, most say Dublin on. And it's um, prints uh, from how Dublin was in 1818. Um, and there's a set of four and this light is not good is it oh I call myself a youtuber um so a set of four so we've got one two three and then this fourth one doesn't say Dublin on it, um, but I'm assuming it's 
on the same vein. So there's four of those and that cost me two pound. Uh, I've got this, which is an X uh, and it's a Pirate Park. Now, I bought Pirate Parks before for next to nothing and I've sold them uh, like 20, 20 off something pound. Um, and I've got stuck with one that's got a motor that's not working. Uh, and I bought another motor, but I bought the wrong one. Uh, apparently there's different ones. Uh, anyway, I wasn't sure on this one until uh, my brother dug in it and he said, oh, those packets haven't been opened. So I pulled them all out and hopefully if all the packets are there, it's, it's never been opened, this. And the motor is in the bottom. So it's all still bagged up and uh, it's instructions yeah for its instructions oh it's got all you i need these like flags and stuff like that that go in it so it's got all that and it's got the blades um so hopefully it should all be there that cost me four pound so i'll just uh, check it against the instructions and make sure it's got it's got all its packets uh, and it builds three models um, and this is the one that I've sold before so that's one alternative and that's two alternatives so that's nice boxed for four pounds right, oh right now this is the first thing the first stall that we went to and I was I was aghast to say the least but I've decided I wanted this for my grandson uh, and it's a dinosaurs. It's only a poster from the Daily Mail. Um, but I decided I wanted it for him. Talk about it being a posh area. Uh, and I said, how much, how much is, I said, oh, I'll have that. Actually, I said that before I'd asked her how much. I said, I'll have that, how much? And she said, a pound. <laughs> and we went back to the car and we went, you paid a pound for a piece of paper. But, same in anything in life. If you want something, you pay for it, don't you? So, there. Yeah, that's what I got. Ooh, I got some jewellery now. I'll show you a couple of bits now. But the rest of it's upstairs. So, I'm going to have to move upstairs to show you. Because I've been detangling. And, um... Oh, I'll work out how much rope to in a minute. Um, and this guy had got, um, what he said was his girlfriend's jewellery laid out on this table. Uh, and a lot of it was sort of separated out. Uh, and then some of it looked like this. My battery's going. Go away. Uh, some of it looked like this. So I said, oh, I like tangling. I like detangling. Um, so anyway, he said, because they need detangling, I'll just do a pound an item. Which I, I really wanted that one, not so much that one. Uh, but I got these and there's three, well it was supposed to be three uh, upstairs and when I've detangled them there's actually four um, chains anyway. So uh, for £5, um, six items. One of them I really, really like and uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Just popped upstairs to do uh, this bit of jewellery that I said I bought and uh, I thought it was six for a fiver. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Turns out it was seven, potentially, because uh, there was one I'd dropped on the floor in the hall and I'd forgotten about it. But this is what we've ended up with now, detangled, which was great fun. Uh, this is the one I was after with the rose quartz, but unfortunately, uh, it's got a broken one. So that can only go into a lot. That one has got a lovely shape to it. Um, it's quite unusual. But it's um, it's not worth an awful lot. But yeah, that's one. Uh, this one that I dropped on the floor is lovely. It's one of those, you know, when it, the bar like falls in your cleavage, um, and it splits there. So if you've got one of them sort of low front tops, I think that looks lovely. Uh, and that's actually nine two five silver. That one. So it's marked on the clasp and on the back of that little bit in there um this one also which is the one that's marked silver uh, right this one is like a quartz um but it's not it's got a silver color to it but it's not 
it's not a silver one but this one is this is a chain um i've got to test it yet but it is marked as silver anyway um that one i'm pretty sure about this one i'm unsure and this one has got like a goldy hue to it um but this one's also marked on the clasp and on a ring uh with 925 so whether it's gold plated silver or not i don't know it's tarnished um so i've got to clean it up um but it it's a lovely design she obviously liked really delicate things and uh it's going to sit sort of different on your neckline um yeah I like that so that's different and uh, i'll get that tested but this is the one that really attracted me to the table in the first place um it's a very sort of art deco look to it and it was in the sunshine and uh i don't know if you can see but it was in the sunshine it was sparkling beautifully now do you ever look at your pieces of jewelry sometimes and you're just willing them to have uh hallmarks and stuff on and i can't find anything on this other than on the back of that ring at the bottom it says v1 now i know some italian jewelry had uh letters and numbers like i think v it were either vi or v1 uh, for Valencia, but I don't know. I don't know if that's it. But I was really expecting this to have got all marks on, or a nine two five at least, uh, and there's nothing on it. But those stones are fascinating because um, they really sparkle in the sunshine. But they've got a lovely setting to them. If you look through the back of there, you can see that there's a claw at the back and at the front, so it's a definite claw set stone. But it's fairly flat. It's only got six facets on the back and um, I don't know, it's filthy, it's cleaning, it's got all its stones, um, yeah. So I was disappointed to not find any um, hallmarks on it but nevertheless I think it's really pretty, I'm not sure whether I shall be parting with it or not. Uh, more toys, now this one. They had stickers. This was fairly late on this actually, so I was surprised it was still there unless it doesn't work. Yeah, it's working. Uh, and I was surprised because it's got its cookies. So it's, it's Feed Me Dino. Uh, it needs these cookies. Um, where had it been? I'd seen it. I'd seen another and they wanted about two pounds for it and, and it didn't have any of these so that were a waste of time uh, but this you've got one two three four five buttons and uh, yes i thought that was right there's actually six um white green uh purple orange red oh and there's a yellow so it's all them colors in the yellow as well so that's that so we've got carrot and peas and all sorts so we'll feed him so that it started putting stickers on some of them and that was two pound i mean seriously we could we we went to make a day of it if you're thinking of how long it takes you for how much stock you get it might or might not be good for you um i know in one of the chats i saw somebody else was at the same yard sale so i'd actually be really interested to see what he got um because you'll all start at different ends or at different houses, won't you? So, you know, um, we could have both been going to the same houses, but we're after different things. So, we'll see. Um, now, this, I like this. This was, uh, this is Playmobil. And it looks a bit different because it's, oh, can you see the squares? And oh, see it from the top like squares here look um but it were these that made me think is that playmobile anyway yes they are so it's a little farm um and it opens out so you can have it as like a house uh there's a tree there's animals furniture 
um, what's that one? There's a little sink unit. Oh, just a blob. Um, what's this? Looks like that's supposed to be drawers. I don't think that's anything to do with it. Nothing to do with it, that. Uh, oh, what we've got cooker. And these ones are Playmobil, so it's just the green blobs that somebody's put in extra to play with that, uh, that are not part of it. But these animals are, the chairs are, and stuff. Anyway, it was worth having a go. Uh, and I did know when I bought it that it's actually got a door missing. But it was the grand total of £1. So I thought, I can't go wrong for £1, surely. Uh, yeah, we've got a pig in there as well. Pig, cow and a horse. So that's that. Just fetch another bag. Vintage bits. One house was obviously a, a reading house and a gaming house because the, the, there were tons of games and stuff. And it, this one was fairly late on, so I'm sure if I'd have gone early, I could have got a load from this one. But I bought this, which um, I've not looked many of these things up yet, but I've looked this up and people have got between £8 and £15. So I'll go for the 15 uh, and it's the Spears Ring game. Um, can even smell vintage on it. I don't know if there's a year on it. Um, da, 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 da. There's no year on it, but that's that. So I opened it up and it's in it's in okay condition. Um it's got all its hooks. Not sure how many rings it's supposed to have. One, two, three, four, five. It's showing six on the thing. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six rings. So that's okay, so they like a wooden board, so that's good. I'm happy with that, and that cost me £2. That. This was just a pound. Look at the picture on this. don't know if it's worth anything at all, uh, but it was the picture, which is why I picked it up. Look at that. Style and fit pattern kit. The fastest, easiest pattern making and fashion styling course available today. Uh, KTEL 1972. Wow, look at that rick rack braid rounder. Everybody had a bit of rick rack at that time. Um, and I've had a look, a quick look inside it, and it's got it's got its booklet. It's even got a, uh, some, it's got ruler pieces and they're, they've all been stuck together. Uh, it's got French curve, armholes, French curve, uh, and some paper that you, you use to make your pattern with. So that's that. So I don't know, I thought somebody might be interested just in it being a bit kitsch. Um, but for a pound, I thought it's worth researching and uh, have a look at that. Have a look at that later. Oh, this box uh, was two pounds. Two pounds. It's a lovely wooden box, old uh, wooden box. And it's an artist box. It's got this little, little clip on the front. Uh, and it's for um, like charcoals or something, uh, paint brushes, and then you take that out. It's got a little porcelain water uh, mixing palette in there. So I thought that was lovely for two pound. And she said, "Will you be painting?" I said, "Oh no, it's just probably have knickknacks put in it, which it probably will." Um, right, I got some Playmobil. Uh, it was the last house I went to. And you'd have thought she would have come down in price by then, but she must have been asking more earlier in the day, otherwise it would have gone. Um, and she, I offered her £8 for both, and she wouldn't come down at all. 
uh, which is fair enough. She said, I, th I think it's worth it. So for five pounds each, I got this one, uh, which I should know its number by now. Uh, five, five, four, three, oh, oh I can't remember. Don't take that as gospel. Um, with the gold windows there, I've had it several times. Uh, and there's a few pirates in it. Uh, it's got all its sails. Um, it's got a few pirates, got a lot of rigging. Um, oh, it's got some little keys. Little tiny keys. Uh, what have we got in there? A couple of odd cannonballs. And another two pirates, a flag, a bed. Uh, and a load of leaves. So that was a fiver, so that was okay. That was okay. And this one, which was the other fiver, which is probably worth about seven. Um, and it is Dragon Island. Uh, however, it's got a fair bit with it, so we'll have a look and see whether it's got more than it should have originally. Uh, it's got treasure chests for money in. I ain't got any Playmobil left to go in it now because I sold it all off. It's got its trees, a uh, little bonfire, I think. Um, plenty of knights. Yeah, loads of knights. Oh, there's the weight here. Uh, that's for the bottom of the boat. Um, people would pay just for the weight in itself. Um, so you can float it, that's its ballast, basically. Um, so it's just pop that in. And, uh, yeah. Dragon Island. I don't know. I've seen somebody sell it for Elizabeth Seven. Um, I've got Christmas coming, so... We might go a little bit more because it's boxed. But we'll see. I just can't resist playing the building and see it. Um, oh, a big box. No, it's not a box. A big bag full of duplo. Which I've not dug in yet because I've just fetched these I just saw out of the car. I had to go back to the car with this and then and then go back to the same woman because I thought I'm never going to carry more than this anyway. So it's a massive bag full of duck hair uh, and it's a uh, vintage one. Uh, it's from 19... Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, 80s? Anyway, it's train set. So it's this old style train uh, and it takes batteries um, and it'll go around the track itself. But, oh, it took her ages to do it. Or I made her open that for me to have a look because as suspected, the batteries have been left in. Thankfully, they were Duracell, so it's not too bad. But um, the others popped out and that one's there. And I said, oh, don't go getting your fingers on it. Don't worry about it. I'll get it out later. But I'd wanted her to open it because when they're old, if it's the coil spring, because um, she said to me, oh, you can just clean it up, you know, if it's got, I says, I know, but if it's a coil spring, sometimes they snap off because they're that corroded. Um, but these are the flat, these are the flat connectors. So hopefully I should be able to clean them up. Uh, so I said, don't put back, back on that because it took ages to get it off. Uh, and if I can't do it, <sighs> my brother will have a look. Uh, but I've got, she said it was complete, but that's the age old story, isn't it? We don't know yet. But it has got like both its ramps uh, for the bridge. Uh, and it's got other, it's got other carriages. Um, and I've not even dug to the bottom yet. Um, little barrier. Yeah, and that was eight pound. Um, so she said uh, ten, 
I said, would you mind aching just in case that don't work out? I'm not sure. Uh, it's, it's all, it's been well loved, put it that way. But I think for £8 that should be good. Um, what's left? Oh, another bag and then some pots. Now, this was one of the first things I bought and I bought... Oh gosh, I went in this, uh, it was like a round basically, so there was an oval of grass in the middle and some of the kids had got like little goalposts set up and things and uh, there were lots of Edwardian um, and Victorian houses around it and everyone was different, they were really, really posh um, and there was just two sales in that place, so we went to one and I saw this, then we... The, the kids came to fetch us from another one across the way because they'd been making buns. So uh, we went across the way and I never think about it and I thought, yeah, I'll go back and get it because uh, this was £5 uh, and I'd sooner get tea sets than coffee sets, really. But that's just because of my experience with it. Uh, this is uh, Portugal and it's Secla. Um, S-E-C-L-A. Uh, but it's a very distinctive look. And I liked it. I liked it. And it's all complete and it's all intact. Uh, and I've got uh, the the little cups for um, things, but the little mug shaped. So I think they were a nice then. Nice style, nice colour, nice shape, which is why I've gone for it. So I'll probably put that on at about £40. Um, but I've still got to do my research. So that was that. I liked that. And... These were on the table and, and some of the stuff had got every, uh, all £1 each And I said, oh, are these all £1 each on this table? And she says, oh, that's not, that's two <laughs> So this one was two uh, And it's the Spirograph um, Now, I remember the, the front of it, it looks like what we had and I mean, must, if it is the one that we had, you would be talking um, late 60s, early 70s. Yeah, I've not even opened it up yet. So, shall we have a look and see? At least they've put rubber bands on and not sellotape, thank goodness. That was very thoughtful. Oh, 1973. Just spotted it. Yeah. Oops. That one in there, that one in there, that one in there. Oh, I think we might have one wheel missing. It might just be one wheel missing. So it's got its instructions in. It's got some pins in. It's got God. It's even got the pens in uh, and the long ones, so there's that one there, can't tip it up too, too much, um, but that one there is missing, uh, unless it's underneath it, it feels too heavy than that, oh it's there, their drains are still inside it, bless them. got the border underneath that you can put your paper on and then put your pins through and oh they've put a load of A4 paper in it oh and that's smashing love it when things don't go back in again great and two more things one was that there was a little girl and she was running her own stall, selling her toys. So even though I'd normally pick it up for about 10p, 20p from the car boot, I said, would you take 50p? She said, yes, please. So I paid 50p for a pepper pig car with no peppers. And uh, this was on that, uh, everything's a pound. Look at the, look at that old picture. Wow. Victory Geographical Puzzle. Um, 
Oh, containing a hundred wooden pieces. Oh, we'll be lucky there then, won't we? I'll be back in a sec. I'm not even counting it. It's in a bag. I will count it before I list it. But for the purposes of this video, I'm not. Uh, and it's got a tag around it there. And somebody's written in the box, complete 28387. So that's when they did that. <laughs> so fairly confident, but we'll see. So that is it. Now, I've got to have a quick add up. Right, I've added up and it comes to £48. Uh, and looking through, at, I'm hoping I get a most on the train um, and on the coffee set. Uh, and then the rest are like 10s and 20s. Um, I'll probably ask for over 20 on the watercolour as well. Oh, and then there's the prints at the back. Um, anyway, I've added up in my head what I think I'm going to be asking for everything. And the asking prices will total about 220. Um, and then whether we have to come down from there, we will see. But I've now got to sort my haul out. Because the haul is in the haul. Thank you for watching. Love you loads. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Actually, I might have put it across the screen. Don't go. I did say I kept pushing and hoping so I would end up with 3,000 subs. Well, I did. And it's fluctuating up and down a bit, but it's stayed over 3,000 for over a week or so now. So thank you ever so much to anybody that's new or old uh, that's stayed loyal or joined me recently. Uh, and I said I would have a giveaway. So I'm going to do a giveaway. Now, I've not sort of advertised it everywhere because I want it to be loyal people that are actually watching the videos that wins. I did a giveaway once before and once you put it out there in your title and stuff you end up with um, people just commenting for that really. They might not even be subscribed. So uh, what I would like you to do uh, if you want to partake in this uh, little prize giving is put a note below and I'm going to try one of these um, comment grabbers um, that picks one out. Um, so you need to be commenting on this video and what I'd like you to do is to put the word giveaway um, so that I can pick those out that want to be included and um, let me know if you're in the UK or US or wherever because I don't mind sending somewhere else uh, out of the country as long as I can keep it to small parcel size uh, which is absolutely fine. And just let me know what you would think would be a good thing for you. Would it be uh, sweeties? Do you like sweeties? Or uh, biscuits? Uh, Savoury stuff? So that's treats like that. Or would you like something like um, packaging uh, envelopes? Or um, flowers? If you're in the UK, I don't think that would work outside UK. Uh, do you like flowers as a treat or, I don't know, a kilo of chunky jewellery or things that you've seen that I do? Just have a think about, think, oh, if I've got a little treat, that's what I would like. Um, because I, I've just been stumped for a fortnight thinking, I don't know what to put in for definite because some people might want flowers because they're on a diet and other people eat sweets all day long and that's lovely for you. Um... I don't know, could be a jar of jam if you want. <laughs> so, not homemade. Uh, so, don't forget, comment on this video, um, put giveaway, uh, and then something like, if I won, I would love, or I eat loads of sweets, or I love flowers, or whatever. Thank you all for watching. I'll say it again. Love you loads. Take care. Bye.